distinguished and distinguished guests from across the world. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and the girl Panelo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And this one right there was suggested by Delara. Yeah, Delara. You're the realest time with him. I think she also told us to react to something. We already Yeah, Delara, you're the realest time with him. And if you have more reactions, let us know in the comment section. We're gonna do it for you. And we want to thank everybody out there who been subscribing to our channel. You the realest MVP. Keep on subscribing, guys. If you want to be the first person to get our videos, just hit the, uh, hit the notification bell that is below the subscription button. And trust me, you're going to be the first person to receive our videos. And let us know, what else do you want to see apart from the reactions? If you want us to do our daily life vlog, just let us know. If you want us to do challenges, let us know. Just yeah, feel free to tell us exactly what you, what you want us to do. And yes, yeah, so at this particular moment, what we're going to do is we're gonna react to Yunus, uh, not Yunus. Dilara. Dilara actually suggested that we should go react to the full speech that RM of BTS gave at the United Nations. So yeah, I didn't know that these guys uh, can just, I don't know, probably they're influential or something. You didn't know what? I didn't know that you can go and give a speech. I mean, it's celebrities. Anyway. Without any further ado, let's get it. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director, and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. We've been partnering with UNICEF's End Violence program to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Isan, a city near Seoul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. I used to look up at the night sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. But I had one century and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up man and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. 
But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now, but I am still an ordinary 24-year-old guy. If there's anything that I've achieved, it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side, and because of the love and the support that our ARMY fans all over the world made for us. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that would be me too. These faults and mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. I'd like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world, how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I like to ask all of you, what is your name? What excites you and makes your heart beat? Tell me your story. I want to hear your voice. I want to, want to hear your conviction. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Jun and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can and I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. What is your name? Speak yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. With so many young fans around the world, it was a pleasure having BTS with us, and I'm thankful that you use your platform and creativity to reach young audiences with positive messages about what it means to be a young person in the world today. I mean, that's a nice speech. Anyway, I mean, I didn't know that their, their, their partnership with the, the UN. I mean, that's really amazing to uh, to do a, uh, to fight violence in children or anyone yes, and just anyone out there. I mean, they embrace love and they're just trying to say like, let's love everybody and let's take care of each other or something like that. I mean, yeah. Like, let's love yourself. Yeah, first, yeah, first of all, love yourself. I, I always have the notion or the idea of love yourself first until you get to the brim and when it's like just the water, when you're feeling the water, when the water gets to the brim and then you start you know pouring down, that's when you can just come out of your come out out of your what do you call it? Out of your way to go and love other people out there. I mean love yourself first, find out who you are, then you can go out there and love other people. 
What do you think? Do you think the world would be violent? But I come across the world. Violence. Violence. Violent. Mm -hmm. If best you love yourself and love another person. I don't think so. Because I don't so. think you even attack someone else. Yeah, because. Maybe there's something wrong with you and you feel like. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Partaking in something out of this world is what will make you happy. I mean, so you know, when you love yourself, it's also like um, finding who you are. You get it? I mean, from that point, it, it will really be hard for you to even uh, start going out there and killing somebody, knowing that the kind of person you are, you get it? You'll be full of love, full of joy, full of happiness. I mean, yeah, I mean, this was amazing. BTS, Just really, really good. Each other guy. Who suggested this one? We just said it. Dilara. Dilara, you're the real SMVP man for giving us this reaction. If, if, we, if you feel like we can react to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about BTS speech over here. I think this was an amazing speech, man. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. Last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. Deuces.